is the 2023 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Non-Grand a better option than the Grand Highlander XLE 2024? All right, so in front of me here, I have a beautiful 2023 Toyota, obviously non-grand Highlander Hybrid. This is the XLE trim. I'm gonna show you guys some standard equipment and features that make this beautiful family SUV really cool and versatile. And we're gonna tell you what's different between this and something like the grand equivalent, which is the 2024 Highlander Hybrid XLE Grand. There's a lot to say. I really meant 2024 Grand Highlander Hybrid XLE. Okay, so first off, for starters, let's hit the most important point, which is the price. So the price of a 2023 MSRP uh, non-grand Toyota Highlander Hybrid XLE comes in at $48,350 plus your freight PDI fees and taxes. Now, that is about $5,400, give or take, uh, less expensive than the MSRP of a grand Highlander Hybrid XLE 2024. So for that alone, are you going for the non-grand or the grand Highlander? Uh, let me tell you what's different. All right, so the Grand Highlander is longer, of course. It's about 165 millimeters longer than this in front of us, the 2023 non-Grand. And the Grand Highlander is also about 60 millimeters wider than the non-Grand and about 50 millimeters taller than the non-Grand, which yes, does mean you're gonna have more room throughout the entire interior of the vehicle, mostly in the third row and cargo area. So here's the interior shot of the non-Grand Highlander. Now, one thing I'll mention that's not quite different is the interior upholstery or soft hex layout on the seating. It's pretty much identical to that of the 2024 Grand uh, Highlander, uh, especially when you're going to the limited and platinum trims and under the hood of this 2023 toyota highlander hybrid xle you've got a 2.5 liter four-cylinder hybrid system putting out 243 horsepower now that's a far cry from the 2024 platinum grand hybrid max system but this is definitely a fantastic driving SUV. Now, I'll pause that for a second. Underneath the hood of the 24 Grand Highlander Hybrid XLE, you actually have slightly less uh, horsepower and less torque. You have 243 horsepower and 233 pound-foot of torque, which is a little bit less than the non-Grand 2023 Highlander Hybrid XLE. Now on the interior, you've got this lovely multi-information display system set up here, which houses a lot of your settings and customization features. You can also take a look at your energy monitor for what's happening with your hybrid powertrain. You also, also have a energy monitor or power band indicator just over here to the left. Uh, the indicator lets you know when you're in charge mode, which basically happens when you're in the braking stage or regenerative braking, braking stage on the Highlander Hybrid XLE. You've got the eco mode and then you've got the power mode when you're really accelerating and flooring that gas pedal. Uh, over to the right, you've got your normal speedometer. And over to the far right here, you've got your lovely new multimedia system with your wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and cloud-based navigation and more. And just below that new multimedia screen, you actually do have a wireless phone charger here with all of your connected capabilities. You've got a USB, USB-C, and a 12 volt outlet. And just at the top of us here, you do have a auto dimming rear view mirror with the Homelink garage door system set up there, if you can see that. And that does come standard with the 23 hybrid XLE non-Grand Highlander. 
Now, here's the one bummer. If you want a Highlander XLE, whether it be the Grand or the non-Grand, and you're really attached to having a power moonroof or a sunroof, well, you're gonna have to go with the non-Grand Toyota Highlander because the Grand 2024 Toyota Highlander XLE, whether hybrid or not, does not come with a power moonroof. Now, of course, the XLE, both Grand and non-Grand, do have a rear power tailgate as well as a leather wrapped heated steering wheel which comes standard you also do of course get the soft hex interior seating that is also true on the grand and an eight-way power driver's seat both on the non-grand and the grand you do also have a power passenger seat to go with the driver's seat all right taking a look at the rear trunk cargo area this is really where you feel a lot more of the 165 millimeter length difference between this and the Grand Highlander. Now guys, I did do a full Grand Highlander review already. I'll put a card in this video and a link down below so you can go and check that out where you can see the exact interior space. But with your back third row up, you're left with a little bit more of a limited amount of space here for the cargo area. Another thing with the non-Grand Highlander is the ease of transferring a passenger in and out of the third row. So take a look over here. All right. So, sorry guys, I was one-handed over there. Um, that is the amount of space that you have when you are getting in and out of the third row it is a little bit more limited than that of the grand highlander you probably have at least i don't know another couple of inches of space where you can easily get a decent sized adult in and out of the third row and here is your space for the third row as well on the non-grand highlander it is quite limited you're not going to be wanting to put any full-size adults uh, in the back third row of this vehicle. I mean, maybe temporarily for a short trip, but as you can see here, the third row is really used for occasional use for smaller individuals, I should say. All right, here's the alloy wheel that you get with the non-grand highlander it's an 18 inch alloy wheel right now wrapped in a toyo tire and when you go with the grand highlander you still do get a unique to the xle grand highlander 18 inch alloy wheel now granted the alloy wheel is the same on the hybrid and the non-hybrid highlander and the hybrid and the non-hybrid grand highlander as well well, there you have it, everyone. Just to summarize, so you're spending approximately $5,440 uh, plus taxes, more for the Grand Highlander Hybrid XLE. Um, you gain some features, you lose some features. You don't really gain much actually in terms of features. What you gain is space. You actually lose a little bit of features when it comes to the power of moonroof, uh, but you're greeted with a full new uh, design, new to the lineup, much, uh, much larger. A lot more space on the interior has more of a pre presence if you want to say than the non-grand highlander just due to its size um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below grand highlander non-grand highlander uh, let me know in the comments we'll catch you in the next video take care